Hi there, welcome to another Spark of Science. My name is Steven and I'm a science interpreter here at the Franklin Institute. And I am gonna show you how to make your very own hovercraft, a tabletop hovercraft. Now you're gonna make it out of a CD, but there are other components involved. Let's imagine this is gonna be a vehicle. See how it works. Okay, it's not very good, is it? Because when it's traveling across the table, this surface is rubbing against this surface, creating a force that you can make with your hands. Try rubbing your hands together. Do you feel that effort? Do you feel that heat being created? The force you're creating is called friction. Now, let's put some air between those hands. Okay, I don't feel that heat. I don't feel that friction and it's way easier to move my hands around. So all we need to do is add some air between this CD and this table. Now if you can get your hands on a CD, that's the first thing you need. The second thing you'll need is a top like this. I got this from a water bottle. I drank the contents. I reused the bottle for another thing and I'm reusing the top for this. And the last thing you'll need is a balloon. So what we're gonna do is glue this top onto the middle of the CD with some hot glue. Then you're gonna put this balloon on top of the spout. Now my spout is pulled open right now, which means I can inflate the balloon. That's our hovercraft. Let's see how it works. In order to make it go, all I need to do is open the spout which will release the air. The elasticity of this balloon will push the air out onto the table, between the CD and the table, taking away that friction. It will be a hovercraft. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, some pro tips. First of all, make sure when you're blowing it up, don't hold it by the CD or it might break the spout off. And another pro tip is don't open it all the way, that way the ride lasts a little longer. And that's your hovercraft. Hope you had a great time with us, as great a time as I did. Thanks for coming to another Spark of Science, and we hope to see you at the Franklin Institute soon.